Good evening to all and uh, praise the Lord. I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, I welcome you all when we say Bible study. Before we start the meditation, let's look to God in prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this wonderful day and the beautiful evening which you have given us in our life as a gift. Lord, thank you for this day and this time. Lord, thank you for leading us and guiding us so far, for protecting us from the, all the harms and the dangers in our life. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe and sound in your mighty care. I ask this prayer in most precious name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to give Don Moen a big God bless you. This evening, the scripture portion has been taken from Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 33. This evening, the scripture portion has been, comes from Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 has been taken from today's evening Bible study. Verse 33 it says, And his disciples says unto him, Hence should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill so great a multitude. The disciples replied to Jesus Christ with these words, Hence should we have so much bread and etc. Christ had said nothing to his disciple concerning his design of feeding the people. But his remarks pointed to the possibility of such a design and the apostle at once threw cold water upon the project. They did not 
indeed as they did before urged him to send the multitude away that they may supply their own needs but they emphasized the possibility of carrying out the idea of feeding them their answer caused with objections their answers caused with objections the place is uninhabited the multitudes is numerous the quality of food required is enormous and how can we poor and needy as we are help them it seems to be incredible that they could return this answer after having not very long before experienced the miracle of the feeding of the 5000 they seemed now to have forgotten the earlier miracles and to be in utter doubt how the necessary food was to be provided on the present occasion that christ who display his miraculous power appears not to have crossed their minds such a surprising forgetfulness and slowness of faith have seemed to some critics so unlikely and unusual that they have recreated the apostles attitude as confirming their assumption of the identity of the two miracles of feeding but really such a conduct is true to human nature he is careful to add that men are always liable to a similar insensibility prone to forget past deliverance in the face of the present difficulty immediately after the passage of the red sea the people fear that they could perish of thirst in the wilderness and when god promised to give them a flesh to eat even moses doubted the possibility of the supply and asked hence it could be provided exodus chapter 17 was for numbers chapter 11 verse 21 continually the disciples forgot what they ought to have remembered drew no proper inferences from what they had seen and experienced and had to be taught the same lesson repeatedly under different circumstances since the first miraculous meal many events had happened often possibly they had been in want of food as when on the sabbath day they appeased their hunger with years of corn plucked by the way and christ had worked no miracle for the relief it did not immediately suggest itself to them to have recourse to their master in the emergency they were very far from expecting divine interposition at every turn if they thought all if they thought at all of the former miracle they may have looked upon it as the outcome of intermittent power not always had condemned 
are at any rate not likely to be excused on the present occasion. They were slow to apprehend Christ's divine mission and the character. So the apostles were only in unseen with the best of their contemporaries when it present they hesitated to believe in and were incapable of apprehending the divine nature of Christ. The, the main part of this verse is it is the God that breaks limits. The God that breaks limits. The level of exploits and breakthrough you will enjoy in this life depends on the size of God you have accepted and experienced in your spirit. For some people, God is such that he can only provide daily bread and manage to keep them away from small, small troubles. For some others, he is bigger and can do some few big things. But today, in the feeding of 4,000 in a desert, Jesus presents to us the God that breaks limits. God that breaks limits. When we read the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 29 to 37, it is the story of Jesus feeding 4,000 people with seven loaves of bread and few fish in desert. He also healed many people. The second point is, don't be afraid of desert. Don't be afraid of desert. The supernatural miracle of divine supply happened in desert. In the scripture, desert means a condition of barrenness and hopelessness. We all pass through such a desert experience from time to time. You may be experiencing one now, but lift your eyes to Jesus. He has power to turn your desert into the orchard and a place of abundance. Today, no matter in what situation we are, no matter what condition in we are, no matter what circumstances around us, no matter what kind of challenges we are facing, no matter what kind of troubles we are facing today, but Jesus Christ is our provider. He will turn our desert into an orchard and a place of abundance. He will clear all the ways. He will make it the plain land in our lives. He will clear all the troubles, problems, circumstances. He will remove all of them. And He will show His love and mercy in our family and in our individual life. Today, we are suffering with a lot of problems. We are in the desert where there is no hope. But still, we have a hope that is Jesus Christ, one who can provide everything in no matter what situation, what season is it. But he will provide us when we lift our eyes to Jesus Christ. The second point is, God cannot be limited. God cannot be limited. There is no condition of life that our God cannot break through. 
He is God of impossibilities. Yes. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, there is no condition of life that our God cannot break through. He is God of impossibilities. He can do everything. He is a possible God. He will do everything for you and for me. When we come to him by prayer, by petition, by confession, he will definitely, he will change our condition. He will break through all the circumstances. The God is, cannot be limited. Our God is not limited. He will go behind our imagination behind our circumstances, behind our expectation, behind our hopes. He cannot be limited. God cannot be limited. Even your present situation is small matter in his hands. Yes. Today it might be financial problem, it might be health issues, it might be mental issues, phys physical issues, emotional issues. Whatever it may be, whatever the situation is that in his hand, it, it is a small, it is a small matter. He will handle everything. He will handle everything, every situation. He will handle every problems is a small matter in his hands and I declare upon you today that your time of breakthrough has come in Jesus name the last one the last one only seek his presence only seek his presence Our problems is not where we find ourselves, but where we stand before God. This is so important, dear friends. Our problems is not where we find ourselves, but where we stand before God. In midst of all those echoes, in midst of all these problems, in midst of all these issues, struggles, challenges. We should stand before God with faith, with hope, with strong belief. The matter is where we stand before God in times of storms, in times of difficulties, where we stand before God. We should stand before God with faith. We should have that faith that God can handle every problems that is coming to me and my family or to church. He is able to handle everything. When we read the gospel again, we will notice that Jesus claimed the mountain. You know, it's not easy to claim some mountains and look at the people that went up to him. The cripple, the blind, the deaf and the dumb, etc. Why did he not stay on a plain ground? How did he expect a cripple to climb a mountain? It's a lesson for us. If you want to experience the power of God, be ready to pay prices. Yes, dear Lord. We are ready to claim any mountains which comes in our ways. Help us and strengthen us and give that power and faith so that we could claim our mountains, mountains of challenges, struggles, issues, problems, circumstances, 
help us to claim all the mountains and help us to stand on that mountains and see you and face the, all the challenges that comes in our life no matter what situation is that god will give us the strength and ability to face all the problems and to claim the mountains in our lives my dear friends every limit in your destiny and in your life in jesus name it will be break through it will be solved in jesus christ he will break through all the problems circumstances comes in our life he is always there for us to help us to feed us and lead us in wherever we go i will end this short meditation may good god bless you all amen let's pray Heavenly Gracious Father, we thank you and we praise you once again for this beautiful time of meditation you have given us in our life. Thank you, Lord, for speaking us through your holy words. Lord, thank you for giving us the assurance of your presence and your providence. Yes, Lord, your word says that you are a Jehovah Jireh. Yes, Lord, God who provides. Yes, Lord, we believe that you are the provider of our life and our family. and the church and the community and the society lord yes lord you are providing us every day and every second you are providing us whatever we want in our daily lives lord thank you for providing us every needs that we ask you lord thank you thank you so much lord for being a provider of our life and the family lord thank you lord for teaching us this evening that you are there to feed us no matter what situation is that no matter what mountains comes in that lord you are there to stand with us and feed us in all the situation lord thank you lord for the giving us the strength of the bread the word you have given us Thank you Lord for your blessings in our families Lord I especially pray for all our church families Lord whatever they are facing today right now Lord help them to give strength and the ability so that they can claim the mountains of struggle challenges problem circumstances so they could claim that all the echoes in in your name Lord help them and give them good health and the prosperity in their life lord lord once again i submit in your mighty care all of us together in jesus name we pray amen